So it's going to bring up now second down, 21 yards to go. 2.54 left to go. Harold trying somehow to get this team into the end zone. Goes up the field. Johnson, and he is hit hard. That was Marvin White. White, who was a punishing tackler, who was a Mountain West Conference Defensive Player of the Week against Baylor. Big hit, and Johnson is down. Yeah, it looked like Marvin White might have got an elbow up into Johnson's uh, chin, and he's hurting. I think we have to see this. It's a great hit, and we'll see what he did. I think his right arm gets him right under the chin. Oh, that's a tough hit. That's a tough hit. I, I, and you, you just hope Johnson's okay. Yep. Oh, he's just that's just a good solid chest to chest shot. He's just got uh, he's he's uh that that's a good one. That yeah. one hurts. Yeah, it was not in any way a dirty hit. Not at or all. Too high. He just hit him. And how did that helmet come flying off like it did? It shows you the violence of that blow delivered by White. White is the kind of guy you watch him on tape. And he just explodes on people. He is a violent player. He comes up on run support extremely well. He closes the gap extremely fast. He has suddenness about him and violence in him. And, and you watch him on film and he shows right up. You saw that hand signal that's guns up for Texas Tech. That's one of their traditional things that they do at home. And now on the road in Fort Worth, Johnson's going to go off the field, fortunately on his own power as he took that big shot from White. So what it comes down now to is a third and 21. Marvin White, who came out of Kilgore Junior College. He was an All-American there. Second team All-Mountain West Conference a year ago. We're talking about that he has focused in this year and they feel he has taken his game to a level they did not anticipate. 